Hey Life Kids, and welcome to week seven of our series, On the Farm. So throughout this series, we've been growing the Spirit of God. This week, we're focusing on gentleness and self-control. So how many times can you remember where you wanted to maybe just continue playing on your iPad instead of doing your chores? Well, we're gonna learn how self-control and being gentle are two spirits that we could learn to have to grow the Spirit of God. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Peace have this day be a good day, Lord. Thank you for letting us be able to learn about this series on the farm. Thank you for giving us food, water, shelter, and everything that we need to survive, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a banana. The fruit of the spirit is not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. You want to be a lemon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm, so good. Pay up. We're talking about two fruits of the spirit today. Sweet. The first one is gentleness. That's being careful with my words and actions. The second one is self-control, which is thinking before I act. We can learn all about gentleness and self-control from a story in the Bible. While Jesus lived on earth, he traveled around telling people parables. Those are stories that help them understand God's love. One time, Jesus told a story about a man with two sons. The older son worked hard in the fields. But the younger son wasn't happy at home. He couldn't wait to leave. So one day, he asked his father to give him his share of the family's money. The father gave his son what he asked for, and he quickly took off to live in another country. Without really thinking about it, the son went and spent all of his money on wild living. And wouldn't you know, he ran out of money altogether. He didn't even have enough money to pay for food. In fact, he got so hungry that he went to work for a pig farmer. One day, while he was feeding the pigs, he realized that even the food they were eating looked good to him. And take it from us, there's nothing delicious about pig slop. Ugh, that is true. But that is when the son remembered that his father had many hired servants and they all had plenty to eat. So he decided to go back home, apologize to his father, and ask if he could work for him as a servant. When the son was still far away, his dad spotted him and ran out to meet him. Now you might think that the father would have a lot of mean things to say to his son who had run away and blown all the family money. But no, he was careful with his words and actions. In fact, he told his servants to bring a robe and a ring and sandals for his son. They even threw a big party to celebrate with the feast because the son had come home. While the older son was working in the fields, he heard music and dancing. And when he found out why his father had thrown the party, it made him angry. Instead of having self-control or speaking with gentle words, he spoke harshly to his father. He told his dad how unfair it was that his brother would get a fancy feast and party after he spent years doing the wrong thing. The father explained to his older son that his brother was lost and now he had been found. And that's a reason to celebrate, no matter what wrong things he had done before. Being careful with our words and actions is real important. And so is thinking before we act. Yep. We need God's help to grow gentleness and self-control. And those are both the, uh, say it with me, fruit, fruit of the spirit. spirit. Let's play Farmer Find It. 
help the friendly farmer find his lost pig. When you spot the pig, holler at the farmer before his hiding spot is revealed. You got it! Let's see if you can spot him again. Great job! See if you can find him one last time! You got it! Everybody get on your feet! It's time to sing! You can all take a seat. I can have gentleness and self-control. Hey everybody, it's time to play Fruit or Fail. We'll see some pictures pop up on the screen and we'll have to decide if the person in them is showing the fruit of the Spirit. If they are, we'll make a heart with our hands. But if they fail to show fruit, we'll make an X with our arms. It's time to check out the first one. The son took his part of the family's money and spent it all on wild living. Fruit or fail? Make a heart with your hands for fruit or an X with your arms for fail. Fail. By leaving home and not thinking before spending his money, the son failed to have self-control. Okay, it's time for another one. Even though CJ was frustrated with her dad's plans to turn the farm into a cat food factory, she didn't use harsh words when she called him. Fruit or fail? Choose your sign to give your answer. Fruit. Bobby helped CJ see that she needed to have gentleness by being careful with her words when she talked to her dad. Now it's time for our last picture. Lindsay gets upset with her little brother, so she throws all of his toy cars in the toilet. Fruit or fail? Make your choice now. Fail. Lindsay didn't have self-control or gentleness when she threw her brother's cars in the toilet. Instead, she could have shown self-control by thinking before she acted. And she could have shown gentleness by being careful with her actions. We can ask God to help us have both gentleness and self-control. Great job playing our game. We've had so much fun on the farm today, but before you go, let's all bow our heads and pray. Hey God, thank you for helping us see that we can have self-control by thinking before we act 
and gentleness by being careful with our words and actions. Help us to spend time with you every day so that you can grow the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. We love you. Amen. Welcome back, Life Kids. So today, I really enjoyed the story of the lost son. There are two valuable things that we could take away from this story. One, self-control. The son could have definitely used the money that his father provided him wisely, and he would have been able to make his family proud and not go hungry. But also, when he returned home with no money, his father remembered to be gentle. He was gentle and kind with his words and threw a party. And that's what we should do, is remember to be gentle, be kind, and have self-control. I love you, Life Kids, and we'll see you.